Hey, YouTubers. It is Super Bowl Sunday, and Danny and I are on my way, our way to my cousin's house for Super Bowl dinner. My cousin's in town from Chicago, and yes, we're wearing the wrong colors, haha, <laughs> but we're diehard bear fans. And even though the bears aren't playing, we've got them in our hearts. No, you've been a good friend. That's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end Well, the truffle phase is still not over. For at least not for me. I'm having my breakfast truffles with banana. Yeah. Not totally keto, but it's whole 30. Great way to start the day. How are you starting your day out? Let's make it a great one. So I'm sitting here in North Fort Myers, right outside my camper. And I was just playing with my drone a little bit, but earlier today I had the opportunity to meet um, some people that are very interesting. Big question I'm always asked. Don't, aren't you ever afraid? Do you ever feel safe? There are several options for new RVers, new full-timers, part-timers, campers who travel all over the United States. There are several options for them to camp at a reasonable price and feel safe without having to spend the big dollars that it takes to stay in an RV park, which can be very costly. And if you think about it, how much you pay for rent every month? Anywhere from $800 to $2,000, depending on where you live. You could be a member of Boondockers Welcome for $50 a year. Yeah. And you get to stay at no cost at a Boondocker Welcome host location. Yeah. So anyway, there are other options as well. Besides Boondockers Welcome, there's Harvest Hosts. There's a thousand trails. Those are all options you can take to be an RVer and be safe. Because thinking about it, I don't have a thousand trails, but I have friends who do. And thousand trails is, if you do it on a yearly basis, it's under a thousand dollars for the year. Well, goodness, you're gonna pay that much for one month's rent. So joining these organizations is really a no brainer. But guess who I got to meet? I was able to meet the founder of Boondockers Welcome. And I'm going to let you see my interview, or not really an interview, but my meeting with her and her husband and their rig and my gracious hosts that I'm staying here with who have recently had their 100th Boondocker on their property. I did take a little bit of drone also. Don't laugh at my drone, please don't criticize because I'm still new at the drone thing. So stay tuned, here it comes. I hope you watch my whole video. Okay, I'm back here. This is Mary Ann and Mary Ann and her daughter, Anna, are the original founders, they're the founders of Boondockers Welcome. And she just wanted to let her give you a quick hello, you know, Hi. and um, I'll let you have the mic a little bit. Okay, there you go. here we go. Hi. And this is your rig. This is a. This is it. A, road a 1990 track? road track. We call it vintage. But I don't know when it starts to qualify that. It's, it suits our purpose still. It's 30 years old this year. And you've been traveling for 20 years, you said. On and off. Yeah, we're not full timers at all. We have a home base in Ontario where we're hosts for Boondockers Welcome. And as you can see, when we're on the road, we also stay with Boondockers Welcome hosts ourselves. See, isn't that great? And that's just a quick little view of the short inside without actually going in and violating all of her privacy today because ah. I caught her by surprise. <laughs> but I appreciate okay. you saying hello. And you've been, um, had Boondockers welcome now, the uh, the club, I call it a club, mm -hmm. for how many years? 2012, so seven, coming up to seven years in April since we started. Wow, it's been a, good. it's been sort of our, our baby uh, for that long and we've just been gradually through word of mouth spreading the word and that's how it's grown to where it is now and you're going to have a booth at the rally in live oaks 
That's right, at the Our Village Rally, Spirit of the Road Rally. Um, on February 12th through 16th is the rally. So come and see us there. there um, a booth, a seminar, uh, a hospitality event. We're, you know, it's, since the whole club is about hospitality, we're actually sponsoring a little get together, a happy hour night. Um, and there's all kinds of neat stuff happens at the rally. So there's day passes available too. So there you, don't you have go. To so if you can't go for the whole entire trip and afford to actually spend the money to get a campsite, you'd be able to come for the day and get a day pass. That's right. And stop at the Boondocker Welcome booth. That's right. And That's can they right. sign up there too? They absolutely can. And they can just ask us questions. Sign up, ask yeah. questions, find out more about yeah. The, yeah. the club and what he has yeah. to offer. It's a great idea. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I use it all as much as I, yeah. you know, I use it a lot. And I, it's funny because I've become very good friends with most of them. And now I, most of my hosts and hostesses, and I even have traveled with them. So I so travel cool. with, um, Mike from the um, the uh, palm tree farm okay. in, off the island here, which he now has sold his property, but yeah. I do travel with them. So yeah. it's, it's really a lot of fun. Thank you very much, Marianne. I, and I'll let you get back to your visit here. And I'm going to encourage everybody to stop at the rally and stop at the booth. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I got my hair washed. Got your hair washed? I washed my hair, yeah. And, and this is, we call him Grandpa. And he is Grandpa Cycle Center, which is um, no longer in business, business, but Grandpa was a race track car, race car driver. Race car driver, right? Yes. So, um, I drove an S10. S10. Chevrolet pickup. And how many races did you win? Oh, God, I've, I've been racing for... 20 years or better. I got trophies. I got the United States Southern Championship for IHRA, uh, Ironman Championship, uh, all kind of trophies. And and today he's traveling incognito with his little hat and hairdo. But uh, I just sold my truck and I raced a motorcycle before that and I won a divisional out of South Carolina with that and I won top 10 all over the country. Yeah, he is He is a legend. I love, I love drag racing. He loves Dad has another punk group rock. coming in. Yep, oops. We got another boondocker pulling in, and there's Linda, the hostess with the Moses. She's guiding the new arrival. So now we're gonna have three, four, five, six, seven, eight rigs eight rigs i'll have to put the drone up if any more come we'll have to see if today if it'll be a record any but right now there's eight one two three four five six oh there's seven there's seven that's my little setup this is our hostess linda and she's all she's so diligent about making room for her guests on her little phone there and fitting everybody in she wants to make everybody happy she's so gracious letting everybody stay here so what do we have we have one two three four five six seven seven one two, one, two three, three four, four five. five we have seven. seven guests here at the same time the most we had just at New Year's, we had nine RVs on the property and nobody was crowded and everybody had their space and was doing good. And this is just a great way to still interact when we're stuck at home before we go back out and learn so much of where to go, what places to see, little tips. Um, we have an impromptu, um, sort of like flea market yard spot <laughs> trading post for our boondockers that have come in. I don't want to haul this around anymore. They like leave me yesterday. Some, yep, leave something and then they could use it as a better storage box or people of our avid readers leave paperbacks and can now swap out to different paperbacks. Um, like a lending library and I don't know just it's just a great I cannot say enough about both as a host and as a guest traveling for places to say about boondockerswelcome.com it it is so super and honored to have the founders 
know from our references the desire to want to stop by and meet us while they're on their way to the our village rally that, yeah, that, that is, made me feel really cool that is really cool that um that the actual founders of food knockers welcome made it a point to come and stop here because they've heard so much about you and your hospitality but they are very personable and hands-on monitoring the website and the guests and the hosts and making sure everything has been running smoothly which is an incredible feat for Marianne and her husband Randy and the website that her daughter Anne runs and now they have hired on an additional person, their first hired hand, oh. um, to, that does the website and will be helping with marketing and to keep up with everything and it's constantly evolving and growing and but to the point where they've not lost track of the original reason for doing it right and for not letting it get out of hand right so, uh, and making sure that the, yeah. all the people who volunteer to let um, other RVers stay on their property don't get a, taken taken ab advantage, advantage of. of right yeah you know and that was it when there is crisis or need we are one of the few posts that can take rigs over 40 foot so the demand in Florida during season for big rigs we can we could keep this place pretty busy but don't <laughs> be a host thinking this is you're going to be running a uh, an RV park or campground right. or or and it's not to make money it's just for the networking and the camaraderie and the exchange of knowledge right. and that sort of stuff yeah so. because I mean the only thing that uh, involves money is that if people want to use power, power or water, water that they yeah. they just reimburse you for the cost a nominal fee it, yeah, so. but the other thing like for you for the people that just pulled in you know you've been here multiple times this is like home oh it is and fa like family and I don't have to worry we'll always greet first timers at the gate show them where to come in what to happen but what's nice is your coming and going doesn't bother our schedule you know the routine you know where to park you felt comfortable coming in and parking like a pro everything was <laughs> fine I didn't have to worry about you and right. it made me feel good that you felt safe and comfortable you know no lot you can you know as a former deputy not worried about you being able to take care of yourself right. but the fact that as a female traveling on her own that there are safe and secure and friendly there are a lot of women will ask me how do you feel traveling alone or you know aren't you afraid no I'm not afraid it's not really so much about what I do did for a living before it's mostly about the fact that there are several options to be safe and make yourself safe and then one of those is boondockers welcome and it and it, the price is so affordable it's ridiculous you know I mean but no it's not ridiculous don't raise your prices but the price is very affordable oh yeah and, yeah. and boondockers welcome and even several of the others you know one or two nights stay more than pays for itself oh yeah so definitely. that's really great well, let's see, we've got some more people coming in. We're going to sit and talk, and thank you, Linda. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. Well, Mary Ann and her husband, Boondockers Welcome Creators, are on to their next adventure. They're headed to the RV Village Rally up in Live Oaks. Will you be there? Come on, start. There he goes. Yeah, it's given me a whole view of the property. You can see my rig right over there. Let's see if I go over here. If there's my rig right there. <laughs> 